the Santa Maria Beef Tenderloin. Now, this is a whole tenderloin that we're just breaking down. All right? uh, your butcher will do this for you, but we're going to do the breakdown here. Now, we're going to remove the chain, pull it away from the prime, and get all the, uh, the silver skin off of it and the excess fat. And this here is the chain. Now, generally, the pitmasters will use this chain, which you pull off from the prime, like I said, and they'll make stock out of it. There is some connective tissue in there that can be pretty tough, all right? especially when we're dealing with tenderloin, and tenderloin is all about the most tender part of the beef. All right, cool. So we're just going to sear up those uh, pieces of the chain there because we're going to make a bopping stew out of it. And we'll show you how to do it. All right. So for the mop that we're going to baste the tenderloin with, we're just going to throw in some onions. All right. Simple enough. Now you can you can make your own version of a mop, you know, with uh, beef broth or whatever. All right. Garlic, onions, uh, your choice. All right. We're just going to use some onion and we'll have some of our SBG. And we're searing this chain. Now, it's not the most tender part of the tenderloin. That's why your butchers break down your whole tenderloins into a tenderloin roast. So we've seared these up pretty good. We're after the flavor. And we're just going to cut them up a little bit. Look at that. Perfect. Good enough to eat over And actually, there are some real tender parts to this chain as well. So <laughs> you always want to keep it. And we'll just cut it up into smaller pieces and throw it into our paella. Just like that. Oh, that smells so good. All right. Now, we're also going to turn this into a beef stew. So we'll show you what we do this at the end of this video. So throw those uh, chunks of tenderloin beef in there. All right. Right in with the uh, onions. We're going to put in some beef broth. Again, you can set this up the way you want. If you don't have beef broth, you can use water. Plenty of flavoring. Right. And uh, we're also going to hit it with some more liquid. We just happen to have some beer around the pit. Of course, right? Again, you can make this up the way you want. As if you're preparing a beef stew. But we're going to use it for a mop. For a little bit. Good. Add a little more seasoning. We, of course, got our SBG. Use what you got, of course, right? Simple enough. Right. I'm telling you, you just sit here and eat that right now. No, it's not what it's about. All right. We've got our mop and liquid all set. We'll put it on a side. And now, this is what it's all about. We're going to take this trimmed beef tenderloin and put it directly over the hot coals. Now, using the Santa Maria, we can uh, dial in the exact temperature we want. Perfect. Take a look at that. Ooh -wee. Now, you can see by the shape of a tenderloin, of course, it's going to cook differently. Right? you got a thick section and we've got much thinner sections but uh, it's easy to take your old hickory and slice what you want simple enough now we're uh, about 10 minutes into this or so and we're going to sear the other side easy enough huh? yep. perfect now, our goal is to cook this uh, at a medium heat. And with the great raise that high, we've got about uh, 300 degrees at the most lapping at the bottom of this roast. Now, we're going to take that uh, basin sauce or mop we made up, and we're going to keep hitting it. Keep it moist. Yep. Perfect. Oh, 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 oh. this is going to be good. All right. And you want to do this throughout the cook. Whenever you feel like it, or whenever you uh, open another beer, your choice is a pit mask. Excellent. Yep. All right. Now, 
We're only about uh, 25 to 30 minutes into this. And let's just show you where we're at here. Take a look at that. Perfect. Now, if you're eating tenderloin, you pretty much want to be rare. That's what it's all about. These tenderloins can go, uh, what, $20 a pound USD? Whew. This is one expensive piece of meat, so you don't want to overcook it. In fact, if you like your tenderloin medium, you don't, uh, you don't deserve to be eating tenderloin. That's just the way it is. Now, let me show you. Here's a thinner end of the roast. See? Just look at that. Perfect. Again, by uh, raising and lower the grate, you can get exactly what you want. Phew. Perfect. All right. You smell that? It smells good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Again, keep mopping. You flip, you mop, you raise and lower the grate. Again, the pitmaster has ultimate control over the cook by using the Santa Maria grill. All right, now, we're just about ready to start pulling it off the grill, and you can see here we're getting a nice medium cook, medium rare right there. All right. And by, um, and of course, uh, depends uh, whatever your guest request is, you can get it just perfect for them, right? Just like that. Oh, my God. Lord have mercy. It's called Good Living in the Pit. Look at that. Man. There's not much more to say, right? <laughs> We're working on this roast real good, man. Again, keep mopping it. Keep it moist. And if you want to um, slow down the cook, of course, you just raise this great way up and you just keep it lukewarm. So you're ready to cut another piece. Simple enough. <laughs> Whoa, we're eating good tonight, Martha. <laughs> Look at that. Now, this is the part where the pit masters are going to eat in front of you. And we do apologize. <laughs> but we call this Pitmaster Privilege. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.